1974 hit by the Doobie Brothers, performed by four members of the Marstown Uke Jam. Mark Dutton, who many of you probably already know, is the founder of Marstown Uke Jam, and he's the reason that these hundreds of Marstown Uke Jam videos even exist. Uh, Kevin Coughlin was on that video, my wife Roberta Foster, and myself Al Foster. And uh, I want to give deep thanks to Mark, Kevin, and Roberta for helping out, because this is a song that, you, with all those vocal parts and even the different instrumental parts, it helps <laughs> a whole lot to have a, a group of people to perform that song. And we played that song straight off the chord charts of the Marstown Uke Jam. So check that video link, download the free ukulele chord sheet, Get yourself a group of friends to cover all those vocal parts and the instrumental parts and uh, play Blackwater. And if you're going to be in Morristown, New Jersey, on the first Wednesday of every month, come on out and join Mark, Kevin, Roberta, myself, and all the others who uh, come out every month to, at the Morristown Uke Jam. We have a great time, and you will too. So, now that I've you've seen that uh, group performance what i'm going to do is talk about the chords that are in this song and also uh there's a couple different strum patterns so i'll try i'll try to show you um how the strumming goes with this song and also uh maybe some of you noticed that i was doing during the verses a little lead lick to try to um uh, replicate the recorded version. I'll show you how, how that's done for anyone who's interested in doing that little that little riff during the verses. So anyway, let's start with the chords. The first chord is the absolute easiest chord in the world of ukulele, an A minor seventh. No, no fretting whatsoever. Zero, 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 zero. That's an A minor seventh. Prominent chord in the song that requires absolutely no left hand. The next chord is a D. Two, 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 zero. Next 
next chord is a G. Zero, two, three, two. Next one is a B flat. Three, two, one, one. And here's where your index finger does double duty here. It covers both of those strings. And then there, that's your B flat. An A chord appears in this song. Two, one, zero, zero. And the last chord to appear here is an E minor seventh. Zero, two, zero, two. So those are the chords that appear in black water. Now, as I said before, there's a, I found when I was going through this song, there's really sort of two different strum patterns that appear here. Let me start with the one that appears in, in the verses and also in the first half of the chorus. Let me just play a few, then I'll try to explain what it is. Up doing is one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. That's how I hear it in my head, and that goes th throughout the verse. myself playing it was down down up up down up down down up up down up down down up up down now again you may find your own up down pattern but I was doing for me to get that again the, the sound the rhythm I was hearing in my head was one two one two three four 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 so in that basic strum that rhythm carries through the verse and even through the the first part of the chorus when uh, uh oh, black water keep on get to the G E and the B flat in the beginning of the uh, O Black Water chorus. Where I found the, the rhythm changing a little bit is when you get to the A chord and the E minor seventh chord. I don't know. in my head it sounds more like a one two three 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 and I was just doing alternating down up down up like close. I'm hearing that, that uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, at least that's in my head. And for each of those one, two, threes, I was doing down, up, down. Down, up, down, down. how I did it and again once again and I, I say this almost all the time don't feel compelled to match my 
down strokes and up strokes. You'll find your own way to get that, that basic rhythm. But again, that's where the just the, the basic strum pattern changes a bit is in that back half of the chorus when you're playing the A chord and the E minor seventh chord. It, just, it takes on a little bit different feel. And those two strum patterns will take you through this song. So, just one more thing I want to uh, talk about. I, I mentioned this at the top. I, while, um, while the rest of my Morristown Uke Jam friends were playing the, the, the straight rhythm through this song, I was, during the verses, doing a... Now, before I show you in a little more detail what I'm doing there, I want to point out that I'm using a low G uke here, that low G note, which is really is um, <laughs> really helpful for this song. And I'll show you why. I'll pull out a high G uke and show you the difference. But um, here's what I was doing. And it's pretty much all on these bottom two strings with me. It's okay if uh, you hit a little bit on this on, the, on the, the second string, but you're not touching the high string at all during this. Here's what I did. I, there's the three notes that start. It's on the, f so it goes from the third fret, fourth fret to the second. And again, an open strum. Then I put my index finger across here. And then I bring the index finger down to cover both of these bottom strings. So the, those, these three notes. to get the, the feel that the acoustic guitar gives uh, in the recorded version by the Doobies. One more time. Oh, hit those open, these two strings open. Put your index finger on that third string. You can also touch the second string if you want because it's okay if you... And then the index finger jumps over to cover both these. And that's how you finish it. So that's just that little verse riff to try to make it sound a little bit like the, uh, the recorded bird. Now, again, as I mentioned, that's a low G uke. And here's why. Here's what this sounds like on a high G uke. So it's an octave higher, of course, and I think it lacks that. You know, it's good to have that little bottom end, the lower note, rather than. Now, if you don't have a low G uke, and I know a lot of you don't, it's certainly okay to. If you have someone who has a low G uke, give them that job of playing that little riff during the uh, during the verses. So anyway, that is Black Water, a song that is definitely suited for having a group of you play together. So you can cover, especially all those vocal parts at the end, like hear that funky Dixie Land and all that stuff. It sounds great with a lot of people, and I know you'll have a lot of fun doing it too.